Well, welcome aboard. We are at Indianapolis Executive, getting ready to head up to uh, Chicago Midway. It's a really short 31-minute uh, flight, and uh, basically you uh, do the Mears departure, Kokomo transition to the Fisk arrival, Kokomo transition. So you uh, take off and um, same exit point on the departure is the same arrival point on the um, on the arrival or the same entry point on the arrival. So it happens pretty quickly. So probably not a lot of narrating on this flight just because of the pace that it happens at. Pretty quick going into uh, Midway where Southwest Airlines is. Uh, typically quite a bit of traffic there, but Citation Max was just there the other day and he said it was deserted. So uh, we'll see what it looks like on the uh, way up there. A couple cleanup items. Uh, one is on one of my uh, previous videos, I listed a, uh, I gave you a list of my favorite uh, aviation videos to watch on YouTube. Uh, inadvertently, I left one person out and I uh, want to offer uh, that person an apology and a shout out. So Sean with Corporate Pilot Life, sorry I uh, overlooked you on the um, uh, on my last list. I, I, I was almost afraid to actually mention the uh, my list of YouTubers because I knew I would forget somebody, but you're the one I forgot. The other thing I get is a lot of questions about how to steer an airplane on the ground. So we're going to cover that right now. So on this airplane, there is no tiller over here. Uh, none of the uh, airplanes in this size category that I'm aware of have a tiller. Everything is done by your feet. So if you come over here to the uh, co-pilot side, you can see the rudder pedals down there. So the rudder pedals actually pivot in two directions. So during normal flight, use the bottom of the rudder pedals and move them around like that. That moves the rudder. Also on the ground, that steers the nose wheel from left and right. And then you can bring your feet up to the top of the pedals and you can depress the top of the pedals. So right here, you can depress those and that gives you braking. And that controls brakes on each wheel of the main landing gear. So basically the way it works is the rudder pedals are pivoted at the bottom. So if you were to look at it like this, the, uh, the bottom of them pivot so that if you press on the top of the rudder pedals, they pivot like this and they give you braking on each wheel. If you press them forward, they also slide like that and that gives you either rudder control or on the ground it gives you nose wheel steering. So that's how you steer an airplane on the ground. That's why you see all of us taxiing around with our hands free, talking on the cell phone. I uh, got a, quite a few comments about that. but. Uh, you don't need your hands to uh, to fly to drive an airplane on the ground. To taxi an airplane, I guess is what it's called. All right. Without further ado, here we go. Chicago Midway. Here we come. I'm a former Air Force pilot with over 1,000 hours in the F-16. Today, I run a medical equipment business and use my private jet to visit customers or travel with my family and friends. I video some of those flights and share them here. My name is Greg, and this is my YouTube channel. Fox 50 radio check. Triple nine, loud and clear. Thank you. Ah, uh, like a glove.
traffic, Duke, on for Delta Bravo is seven miles to the west to be a midfield cross on runway 18 at exec. At the exec, Gulfstream 1 Lima Alpha is going to be departing runway 18 and uh, climbing to the northeast uh, 3000 in the exec. All right, well, Lima Alpha, we're waiting for you to go. We'll be right behind you. Chat cross, land 5 for Delta Bravo. Locked. In the exact traffic, uh, November 1, Lima Alpha, G5, taking off runway 18, departing to the southwest. Any traffic advice? Cessna Triple Nine Fox Whisk will be departed after 1, Lima Alpha, there's no traffic on final. Traffic, uh, one lead mouth, depart to the southwest, uh, last call, any, in the exact. Two five four Delta Bravo is uh, turning downwind runway 18 at exact. And triple nine Fox Whiskey is making a rolling takeoff of runway 18, departing to the uh, left downward departure to the north. Two five four Delta Bravo is turning base, runway 18. Alrighty, this is gonna come quickly. JC, you gonna go play in the storm? So he's going to be a left turn out, going about the same place we are. He must have been doing a short field takeoff. He had that nose pretty much in the air as soon as he gave Two it the power. Delta Bravo turning final runway 18 at check. There is some storms up a little bit north uh, over by Kokomo. Should be able to work our way through them. As I said, this is going to come pretty quickly. You got a pyre up on those storms to the north? Yeah, negative. I just came in from Lambert. Watch up on radar. Uh, top uh, 50. Uh, air traffic control is keeping everybody around them. All right, well, we're just going to go on top of them and uh, do our air work. Up south 55. <laughs> communication outlet. I key my mic four times. It connects me to a telephone line and I transmit over the radio to flight service or to ATC. Andy approach. Andy Premier 3890 Golf Mike on the ground at executive. Hold short of one runway 18. IFR to Midway. We're ready to copy our clearance. 3990 Golf Mike clearance on request. With this weather so close Figured kind of last minute that it'd be better to go ahead and just get my clearance here on the ground. That way I can pick up ATC right away, get climbing. So I already got my radar working. I'm already painting storms out there. Air 390 Golf Mike, hold for release. Clear to Midway Airport via the Mir 6 departure. Kokomo transition, then as filed. Contain 3000. Expect 1 2000. One zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.9 or 5. Squawk 6746. Hold for release. Premier 390 Golf Mike, hold for release. Mir 6, Kokomo transition, that is filed, 3,000 initially, 
12,000, 10 minutes after departure, 124.95, squawk 6746. Here's your golf mic, a read back correct. How long until you're ready uh, for runway 18? 39 Zerg off Mike, we are ready. 1 8 as soon as you release us. Zerg off Mike, Roger, stand by. Hold for release. Hold for release. 390 Golf Mike. Plus, I was a little concerned about an airplane took, in took off in front of me, said he was heading north. So I was wondering if he was going to pick up an IFR flight plan. So we'd both be picking up the flight plan at the same time. Our clearance at the same Check time. Six, seven, Kilo Juliet, four west. We'll be crossing midfield for runway one. Exit. Air Zero Golf Mike, you are released. Upon entering controlled airspace, turn right and be a right turn, heading zero five zero. And void if not off by five zero. If not off by five zero, advise any approach. By 5-5 five five of your intentions, time now 1845. And there is traffic inbound from the west. It's a King Air. Approach control will have more information once you switch. Okay, 390 Golf Mike, we're released, and it's a right turn all the way around to 050 on the heading. We're taking the action now. Call terminated. Executive traffic premier 390 Golf Mike, departing runway 18 with a right turnout all the way around to 050 on the heading. 390 Golf Mike. Exec traffic, 7 Kilo Juliet, crossing midfield, we'll be turned down with for runway 1-8, we'll keep it tight. You're up, your damper on. Climbing away. Uh, right turn, coming all the way around to 050, up to 3,000 feet. Flaps are up. The traffic 7 kilo, two lights, turning base from base 366. ND Premier 390 Golf Mike out of 2200, off exec. And 390 Golf Mike departure, I didn't come maintain 12000. For the flash up to 12000, zero Golf Mike. Okay, coming around all the way to 050. Zero zero. Got Mike's for the contact three southwest the executive Indy Altimeter 2987. There's a line of thunderstorms from Illinois to Pennsylvania. Light to moderate uh, weather. Are you aware of that? Hey, primitive Zerg up, Mike. And there's some areas of severe weather also. Gotcha. Southwest 2257, flighting 330, vector final approach course, center maintain 3000. Okay, yeah, there is some nasty stuff out there. November Zero Golf Mike, contact Chicago Center 120.9 or 7. 2097 Zero Golf Mike, see ya. Chicago Premier 39 Zero Golf Mike, 7.3, climbing 12,000. 39 Zero Golf Mike, Chicago Center, Roger. Uh, DBA right or left the course, approved and uh, clear truck to Haley when able. I am showing a uh, line of moderate heavy extreme precipitation that's uh, about 10 miles north of you. It's uh, going to be from your, probably your 8 o'clock all the way to your uh, probably 1 to 2 o'clock. 390 Golf Mike, yeah, we're uh, deviating to the right and direct Haley when able. Zero Golf Mike. Okay, we are going to work our way around these storms here. That stuff is nasty. So 25 miles up there, there is a hole that I'm going to try to slip my way through and make that left turn back to Haley. We're 
going to keep the power back, minimize the turbulence disruptions here. Sierra Golf Mike, if at any point you want to take a higher altitude, just let me know. Sierra Golf Mike, Roger. All right, so this shows you the importance of having live radar, which is what I have up here, as opposed to the next rad view, which is this one. So there's, uh, there's your next rad. Crew, and uh, clear direct to Ryan's when able. So the, uh, the live view gives me a a bit better feel. And uh, center 173, Charlie Alpha, yeah, we're out of 11.5, high one three thousand. We're need a left turn uh, to our Alpha's weather. We're talking uh, probably westbound for a little while. 173, Charlie Alpha, Chicago, Sir, climbing team, follow up with 210, deviate to left, the course is approved, and clear direct to heavy D when able and advised. All right, climb to change, 210, uh, left deviation approved, heavy D when able, 173, Charlie Alpha. One, two, three, Charlie Alpha, I'm showing moderate, heavy extreme precipitation. It's a line uh, about 15 miles to your north, extends about the, it extends all the way out to the east, and it's about uh, 20, 30 miles wide. Seven, three, Charlie Alpha, yeah, we're going we're gonna to fly, uh, we're going to take a heading, we're kind of around 270 or so, just, uh, you know, get a little higher. R1 Whiskey Tango, contact Chicago Center 121.27. Okay, there's my gap. There's a the remnants of that storm. I don't want to get too close to that. I want to go through here. Okay, so far I'm feeling pretty good about this. Got my radar on, uh, ranged out at 25 miles. So pretty tight quarters here, because I'm really maneuvering around this stuff. Uh, we used to call this a knife fight in a phone booth back in the F-16 days when you get wrapped up in a real tight <laughs> BFM fight. That's what I kind of feel like at the moment. Mono-y mono with the weather. Want to make sure we're victorious, so we're going to play it safe. No time to be a hero. Okay, I like this. Pretty much just light turbulence so far. November 173, Charlie Alpha, contact Chicago Center 135.75, and I'll talk to you later when you get around the weather. 3575, good day, Charlie Alvin. November 600, Juliet Victor, you're clear direct to Haley Cross, 25, 25 miles east of Haley, at maintain 11011. November 600, Juliet Victor, the south bend, altimeter is 29 or 87. Well, I will tell you, there are some nasty storms out here. 121.27, have a good night. You would not want to get stuck on one of these bad boys. I'm not going back to direct to Haley yet, so I have not told the controller I'm doing that. I'm still deviating. Power is way back. No sense going through this weather like this at the speed of stink. It just beat the heck out of you in your airplane. Passengers, if you had any. Your trip advisor write up would not be very favorable. There we are, direct Haley. Three ninety Golf Mike is direct Haley now. November nine Golf Mike Roger.
So I got the digital ATIS on the ground before I left. At Midway, it's Romeo 050 at 11, 10 miles visibility. And uh, they're landing ILS 1, or ILS 4 right. So I've got that all set up in my FMS. Looks like there might be one last remnant of a storm here that we'll have to potentially deal with. We'll see how it goes. Delta 710, Chicago Center, Roger. Well, I'm glad I got my clearance on the ground. I should have made that decision a little bit earlier. Fortunately, nobody was behind me waiting. I had to wait for that Duke to clear anyway. But knowing that this flight happened so quickly, it was helpful to have that behind me. Chicago 390 Golf, Mike, we're gonna need 10 right. I know you, I know I told you direct Haley, but 10 right, please. Uh, November 90 Golf, Mike, deviation left or right, of course, is approved. Haley, when able, just advise. So I got my qualifies, thank you. Okay, so throttling back again a little bit here. There's gonna be some, some turbulence coming through this last little part here. I'm clear of the big cell here off to my left. I can tell there's going to be some rumblings. I'm going to make a big move here. She gave me deviations right over left, of course. I'm going to take advantage of that. Make a pretty big move right here. Okay. Back direct Haley. November 600, Juliet Victor contact, south end approach 125.75. Have a good night. Delta 710, cross 35, 35 miles southwest of Hosa at maintain flight level 230. Moderate bumps in there. And now we're through it. 390 Golf Mike Direct Haley. 390 Golf Mike Roger. November 390, zero golf mic, descend and maintain 11,000. 11,000, zero golf mic. Oh. Zero golf mic, contact south end approach 125.75. Have a good day. 2575, zero golf mic, see ya. South end approach, Premier 390, zero golf mic, 12,000, descending 11,000. Premier 390, zero golf mic, south end approach, south end approach, 2988, depart Fisk, direct Haley for a transition. 
Okay, I was given uh, direct Haley, that's what I'm doing now. 390 Gulf Mike. 3 Gulf Mike, uh, right there. So we were really throttled back for most of that, so we're still 104 miles out, 26 minutes. I'd rather spend a little more time in the air, throttled back, not beat me up or the airplane up, than I would to get there 10 minutes quicker. My wife just texted me and asked me when I'm leaving. Got busy, forgot to text her. Okay, been airborne for 23 minutes. Bubble zero, Julie Victor, contact. 24 to go. 128.2, have a good day. Originally flight plan for 31 minutes. You can see that powered back. Contact Chicago powered back costs us about 10 minutes. Have a good day. Well, and we diverted around those storms too, so. All good. Premier Zero Golf Mike, just to maintain one zero thousand. Ten thousand, Zero Golf Mike. If I can stress anything, if I can stress anything, it is do not fly into a thunderstorm. By all means. Six Mantis Six Romeo Golf. Uh, did you want Oste to do the uh, avoid it or vectors outside of Oste for do a one eighty? Go around it. Never go through a thunderstorm. Procedure or vectors outside of it to go straight in. Six Romeo Golf Roger, proceed direct Oste and join the approach. Starting to clear up. So I landed four right at uh, Midway. I highly doubt we'll get a uh, good view of the city if we're landing 2-2. Two -two. The 2-2 two -two runways, we, I think, get a decent view. Number zero, Bravo Hotel. The only traffic I show between you and Valparaiso is a mile west of the airport southbound, indicating 2,000. I think he's in the pattern. It's called VFR. Change to advisor frequencies approved. Have a good day. Premier Zero Golf Mike, cross Haley at 6,000. Haley at 6,000, Zero Golf Mike. Okay, so let's look at how to do that. Haley at 6,000 is already entered in there. So all I got to do is come up here, put my altitude selector to 6,000. So 6,000. And I need to hit V now. Now it will go, and it will hit a three degree glide slope and follow it on in. So let's see what happens. That is not going to happen until about, uh, I don't know, looks about 10 miles outside Haley. So we got a little while before we're going to get to that point. The airplane will figure it all out for you. It figures it out, top of descent. That is the point at which we're going to begin our descent. Number three, zero, number two, open departure, ready to contact, climb and maintain, one zero thousand. Number zero, number zero, turn right heading zero seven zero. Join J554, resume our navigation. Number 176, contact Chicago Approach, 128.2, have a good day. Yeah. Looney 176, contact Chicago Approach, 128.2, have a good day. These short flights can be quite challenging because things happen so quickly. They're coming up on top of descent. See the round circle indicating top of descent is getting close to the aircraft. 24176, self and approach. Yeah. Center of aircraft flight one, self and approach, ident, self and altimeter is 2988. Yeah, there's top of descent. See the snowflake coming Center down. Center one, ready to contact, one zero miles east of South Bend and say altitude. The plane's gonna start down. Our speed below 250. 90 for call Mike, vacating 10,000. I'm Zerg off Mike, Roger that. Contact Chicago Approach, 128.2. 282, Zerg off Mike, good day. Chicago Approach, Premier 39, Zerg off Mike, 9.5, down to Haley at 6,000 with Sierra. November 9, or 39, Zerg off Mike, Chicago Approach, thank you. Runway 4 right at Midway. 390, Golf Mike. Okay, there's actually a nice view of the uh, shoreline. Probably can't pick it up on the cameras. 
take my word for it. You can see the Geary Airport. I go into there quite often as well. Not a bad one to go into if you're going into Chicago. Approach 3176, that's Geary inside. Mooney 176, roger, descend and maintain 3000. Myself all set up for the next phase. Tower 135.2, get that set in standby. Ground 121.65, get that set my noggin. Thousand to go. There's Haley, making a left turn now. Haley at 6,000. Nailed it. Morning 176, you're clear for the visual approach runway 2 at Gary Airport. Clear for the visual runway 2 at Gary 176. Chicago approach, Navistar 171 Sierra Fox at 1500 shoreline, north south. Number 171 Sierra Fox at Chicago approach, midway altimeter 29 or 88. And you're going south along the uh, shoreline, and then are you going to go uh, north of midway, or what are your intentions? Uh, 200, or 200, 8, we are going to be passing in between the Gary Delta and the Charlie, and then departing to Whiteside, Sierra, Quebec, India. Roger. Chicago, Delta 2420, level 1 is 3000. That's 2420, Chicago departure, radar contact. Trim right heading 180, climb maintain 5000. Heading 180, third up to 5000, Delta 2420. Here's your golf mic, just gonna maintain 4000. 4000, sir, golf mic. Delta 2420, climb maintain 12000. Put up to 12000, Delta 2420. That's 2420, you can go direct to Earn now. Contact Chicago Center 12012. Direct to Earn and 2012, Delta 2420. Go departure, good afternoon, Falcon 918, Juliet Mike, Web 3000, heading 090. November 918, Juliet Mike, Chicago departure, radar contact, climbing team 4000. Climbing team 4000, now I need to Mike. Uh, a Julia Mike, flight in zero, 070, contact departure 12055. Uh, heading 070, 12055, now I hit you, Mike. Chicago departure, good morning, Jet Car 50A, 1800, climbing 3000. Zero Golf Mike, turn right heading 310. Right heading 310, Zero Golf Mike. Jet Car 58, Chicago departure, radar contact. Climb and maintain 1515,000. Climb and maintain 1515,000, Jet Car 58. Boy, there is just not a lot of traffic. Mike, maintain 200 knots for radar. 200 for greater, 390 There is just not any southwest traffic at all. And usually it is just full. Of course, this is Labor Day, so that might have something to do with it. Can't say for sure. One Victor Goss for Cedric Robert. Rick Roberts, one victory off. So if I go ahead and start slowing a little bit here. Zero golf mic, turn right heading 020, intercept the localizer for four right. 
Zero two zero to intercept the localizer for right three ninety Golf Mike. Three zero Golf Mike, maintain three thousand to establish clear for ILS to runway four right. Three thousand to establish clear to the ILS four right three ninety Golf Mike. Zero Golf Mike, maintain 170 knots for Raider Tell Sitgo, call tower at Sitgo on 135.2. 170 Tell Sitgo, and at Sitgo, we'll go to tower 390 Golf Mike. Jackard 58, proceed direct to Lukey, maintain 1515,000. Direct Lukey, maintain 1515,000, Jackard 58. Jet card 58, contact Chicago Center 12012. 2012, Jet card 58. Okay, I got tower set up at Sitgo. I can switch on over. 170 until Sitgo. Got that, no problem. November 1, Victor Golf. Contact Chicago Center 132.5. Three two point five, thirty two point five. One three two point five, Chicago Center for one hundred golf. Midway to our premier three nine zero golf, Mike Sitko. All about that. Premier three nine zero golf, Mike Midway Tower, wind zero seven zero at one two runway four right, clear to land, see parking. Four right, clear to land, three nine zero golf, Mike Atlantic. Roger. Kicking the autopilot off. 1,000. Five hundred. Minimums, minimums. Be best landing ever. Mirror zero golf mic, turn right, contact ground. Right, and we'll go to ground. 390 golf mic. Holy smokes, was that a good landing? Midway 5 departure, radar vectors to PQ. 
and as filed, maintain 3,000. Marker brings you will be 133.5, squawk 1313. All right, Gulfstream, Niner, 58, Bravo, X-ray, cleared to Van Nuys via the Midway 5 departure, PQ, then it's filed, climb 18, 3000, expect, and then uh, departure is on 133.5, squawk 1313, and that's uh, up to 3000 only, 958, Bravo, X-ray. November 8, Bravo, X-ray, read back is all correct, I believe you said you had Sierra, and where are you part today? We're at uh, Signature, sir. November 8, Bravo, X-ray, this is frequency, ready for taxi. Welcome. 3-9 Golf Mike is clear at Papa to Atlantic. November 390 Golf Mike, midway ground, that's the Yankee to parking, cross all runways 31. Yankee to parking, cross all of the 31 runways 390 Golf Mike. So there's a 31 right, 31 center, 31 left. Going to take Yankee. Forty-six minutes. Crown Gimmitt, eight eighty-five. Eight hundred seventy pounds of fuel. Gimmitt, eight eighty-five. Come out Atlantic runway uh, four right. Will be your departure runway up to and hold short of the nearest taxiway. Short of Yankee for four right. Gimmitt, eight eighty-five. coming out. Hopefully he'll get out in front of me. I'll pull in. Zero Golf Mike, uh, there'll be a King Air coming out Yankee 4 past mine. Tally Ho, 390 Golf Mike will go behind him. KMJ 885, the aircraft approach from the right will follow you. Runway 4 right, taxi Yankee. 4 right, KMJ 885. riding along. That was a short but eventful flight. Hopefully the takeaway is do not fly through a thunderstorm. Remember to hit that subscribe button. You got to hit that notify bell to get notice. You can follow me on Instagram. You can also check out the merch store at premierondriver.com. So until next time, fly safe, and we'll see you soon.
All right, 20 minutes on the ground at Atlantic Aviation, Chicago Midway. They ripped me off with a $345 facility fee. Should have just charged me a drop-off fee. Man, I hate it when people do this. Watch out, Atlantic Midway. Almost as bad as Signature. So to close the loop on the Atlantic fuel charges, the manager of the Atlantic up at Midway actually called me uh, yesterday and uh, we talked about Monday's $345 charge for my less than 20 minute visit. Um, and good news, he confirmed for me that they charged me the correct amount. So there you go. Take that into consideration when you're uh, planning your next trip to Chicago.